Well, I'm hanging out with my man, Les Tamero, and it's that time of year. We're talking Amelia Island Jazz Festival. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. As always, good to see you, my man. It's great to see you, Rance. Thank, and thank you for having me on the show again. Ah, no worries. So we are doing the Amelia Island Jazz Festival once again. And yes. for those that don't know, it's basically a fundraiser, one of your biggest fundraisers to help kids. And I'll let you fill in the blanks. Go. Yeah, well, the Amelia Island Jazz Festival Rants is, uh, a, is a not-for-profit organization that we started now 18 years ago. And we give out scholarships every year to high school musicians to study jazz in college. And uh, part of our festival, which features the biggest names in jazz, um, like, for instance, this year we have Steve March Torme coming in, who is uh, uh, Mel Torme's son. He's going to be the headliner on the Saturday night. And we have Kenny Poplowski world-famous clarinetist and saxophonist on the Friday night. That's October 8th, and Steve Marsh to May is October 9th. But the thing is, those kids that we give the awards to, they not only get to uh, perform on the festival, but they also sometimes get to jam with them at the late-night jam sessions. As you know, you've been uh, been around the festival for a few years, and so that's that's like kind of seeing uh, like a trombone player stand next to Delphio Marsalis and be able to blow and say, oh, man, I mean, I remember when I was a kid, you know, in New York City, I got to play opposite Buddy Rich and Gene Krupa. And man, I mean, th those were like my idols. And, you know, you're just so you're on a cloud nine once you do something like that. <laughs> so, now we talk, we know those are the two headline days, but people also need to know that there are other opportunities to get up there and support the, the cause because the festival is like a week long event. Right, right. It's so cool, Rance. And, and uh, we, we start out October 3rd, and it's going to be in Amelia Park. And in past years, we featured the U UNF Jazz Ensemble uh, 2 with Dennis Marks. We're bringing them back this year, but we're also going to spread it out a little bit. And I've invited the Yulee High School Jazz Band, which is also 33 musicians, to play before them. And before that band, at 12 noon, we're going to have the Nassau County Jazz Ensemble. So we have a total of 60 musicians, three big bands, three big bands with each comprised of at least 20 musicians kicking off the October 3rd concert at Amelia Park. It's free and it's from 12 to 4 and we have a, a, a gentleman named Chet who's got a great barbecue business and he's going to be out there with his family uh, cooking barbecue. Then the next night, Monday night, is our sponsor party at the new venue for us called the Spring Hill Suites, the Courtyard Suite, Spring Hill Suites by Marriott on Amelia Island. Then Tuesday we have a jazz and wine tasting downtown Fernandina at a place called the Decantery. Wednesday night we do our swing night with my little big band, that's a five horn band down at a place here called Sadler Ranch, which has got a big dance floor, a big stage. And then Thursday night is Latin night, where we pay tribute to people like Santana and Tito Puente with a hot Latin band that flies in from Washington, D.C. Uh, the, na the name of the band is Trio Caliente. Then we have the headlining concerts on Friday and Saturday. Kenny Poplowski, my band opening with my wife, vo vocalist Bonnie Isel. And then uh, Kenny will do a great show, followed by a late night jam session at Mokama Beer Company. And that's another new venue uh, for us. And that's going to be uh, led by Janae Yates, our 2019 uh, scholarship winner. Uh, 2020, excuse me, scholarship winner. And then um, the, all the guys go over there and jam. And then finally Saturday, we have the uh, um, St Steve March Torme show, uh, which as the closing act, and again, the jam session follows that on Saturday. That's again at the Spring Hill Suites. And then Sunday, we have the Dixieland Jazz Brunch, which goes from 1030 in the morning to about 2.30 or 3 in the afternoon. And that's going to be an all-star band with a, with a uh, buffet-style uh, uh, served uh, menu of New Orleans-style uh, goodies, like beignets and stuff like that. Dude, you got a whole <laughs> week of party and showcase in so many different parts of Amelia Island. So if somebody can't get in in one spot, get to the next one and support your locals doing big Give people the website so they know where they can find all the information and they can go get their beret or their fedora, whatever, they got, <laughs> whatever their outfit is. What's the website? 
It's uh, uh, AmeliaIslandJazzFestival.com.